Paddy Whack, give a dog a bone. Yeah. I was taking out your back, hit you all the fucking dome. When I look into your eyes, I know you're not about to last. You know the two of you. Okay, I'll take a seven month break and this is what we're working with? I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. A while back, I made a video talking about the announcement of Kimetsu no Yaiba Hinokami Keputan, a Demon Slayer game being developed by the famous creators of the Naruto Ninja Swarm series, CyberConnect2, and being published by the producers of the show, Aniplex. During the time I made that video, we only had a short story trailer and a couple screenshots to work with. In fact, even the game genre was still a mystery along with the release date as well. I was hoping it would be some sort of open world RPG type of game because personally, I feel like that would work very well with the series lore but instead we got another arena fighter and the weird thing is i'm not mad <laughs> She got that man's on her back. Ask for the hundred and cash. He gonna let his tongue lash. She gonna give him a rash. So the same day I dropped the return vid, CyberConnect released a new trailer for Hinokami Kebutan. Uh, it's a story trailer, which I have to say looks really good so far. Up until this trailer, we didn't really know how the story was gonna look exactly, but this trailer gives a pretty good look at how it'll play out. So first of all, I just have to point out that free roaming is gonna be in the game, which is awesome. We can see Tanjiro running through a crowd in Asakasu, a brief clip of him running on a rooftop and also doing some parkour well by parkour i mean jumping on a box so i mean at least it's something the only thing that concerns me and it also concerns a lot of other people is we've seen free roaming very similar to how this looks in the storm games which was really pointless and boring since you literally just walk from fight to fight which it does look like demon slayer will do the same thing uh, it looks very linear and that isn't what i was hoping for uh, when it comes to free roaming although i do still have hope since running on rooftops and jumping on things wasn't possible in the storm free roaming so maybe they'll make it complex enough to where you won't be asking yourself why you're walking from point A to point B all the time. Anyways, the boss fights look promising. We got to see Tanjiro throwing hands with the hand demon, those two random ass demons from the beginning of the show. God, I can't get over how much they slapped the f out of those two. There will be the story mode along with the online mode, of course, where Tanjiro, Zenetsu, Nezuko, Inosuke, Giyu, Sakanji, Rengoku, Makamo, Sabito, Shinobu, and that guy will all be playable characters. Yeah, don't don't ask me why he's in the game. I mean, we don't even have a goddamn demon in the game, and we have this mo like, what does he bring to the table? I'll tell you what, nothing, because he's trash! I've been wanting to make a video on this game for the longest time now, just from seeing those old animations, especially Zenetsu. They did that man right. You can say whatever you want about this game, but they did that man right. Why? Justice at its finest. Justice. Which of course isn't that surprising knowing that this game is being developed by the same developers that made this beauty. Here we go, Kurama! It also looks like the release date, at least in Japan, is October 14th, so really not that far away. I've never really played competitive type games all that much, so this is perfect for me to get into games like this. Personally, one thing that I always really couldn't get the hang of in Storm 4 was being able to manage my substitutions correctly. I would either not use them enough or use them too quickly and have a massive disadvantage in the fight, and with this game not having that mechanic, it's perfect for me. Demon Slayer is a series I have a lot of passion for. It's definitely in the top 5 anime for me, the animation, the character development, the story, the fights. I don't think you understand how crazy I went when I watched the fights in the show. Especially Nezuko going off in episode 19. That scene alone made me realize that Demon Slayer is simply one of the best animes of all time. Because it's one thing when you have a sick ass fight with crazy animation packed with action, but it's a complete contrast when you have a sick ass fight, crazy animation packed with action, and emotion. Emotion can change everything about a fight and it's the exact reason why Naruto's fights are so impactful. So you combine my love for this show with my love for gaming and my love for bandai Fight. not being associated with this project and you have yourself a whole lot of anticipation you should most certainly expect me to be on this game covering it head to toe when it finally releases uh but yeah guys i just wanted to make a video covering all that's happened when it comes to the upcoming dune slayer game and uh let me know what you guys think is this a game you're looking forward to are you concerned with there not being a single demon playable off rip because i kind of am but yeah guys like the video subscribe to the channel check out all my social media help buy a shirt while you're at it we continue to grow it's only a matter of time before we take over <laughs>